actions. Recent suspicious circumstances push Tony to the brink. He requests assistance from cheaters. Lilith and I met about 12 years ago, a little show we did here locally when I was playing local club, clubs. And, you know, we, I saw her out in the audience and just couldn't take my eyes off of her and got a chance to meet her after the show. We just hit it off and we've been together ever since. The good times have been great. You know, the playing in the band and, and her being there supporting me and, and, and hanging out with our friends and just, uh, you know, the fellowship with all those guys as you, as you kind of grow as a band and, and her being right there with me has been great. Our band got a little break. Um, we asked, we're asked to go out on tour for a couple of months and um, the partying got a little out of hand uh, at times. Um, so much where, you know, I cut back. I had to, I had to cut back. She unfortunately did not. I'm concerned because I'm seeing a lot of those behavioral traits come back again with Lilith. Um, I'm seeing a little bit more partying. I'm seeing a little bit more activity around the house when I come back in from the weekends. And, and I'm just, uh, just not sure. I'm just not sure. Lilith Brickley, age 53, a day spa technician suspected of muddying up her relationship. Briefed by Tony that he will soon tour, Cheaters deploys a squad of operators to stake out the home Tony shares with Lilith. This evening, investigators spot an unfamiliar car as it pulls into the driveway. An unknown female gets out and walks to the house. The suspect, Lilith Brickley, comes to the door. She greets the unknown woman with a hug before allowing her entry. The past couple of times I've, I've come home, uh, the house has been a little bit more messy. There's been just I can tell people have been around and she hasn't really told me who they are. I've caught her on the sofa, butt ass naked, more than, more than once, uh, just, you know, hung over, bad hung over. There was an incident uh, early in our relationship where she got caught uh, cheating. She admitted it to me. And, um, you know, we worked through that. I worked through the alcoholism with her. I worked through the cheating. We decided to stick it out. And um, it's, uh, we never really discuss it, and that's what really bothers me the most, is that I can't get anything out of her, and uh, she won't talk to me about it. She won't, she won't tell me if anything's wrong. She won't tell me if anything's right. It's just, uh, you know, when are you leaving again, and how's the, how's the tour going, you know, that kind of stuff, the general conversation. And, uh, you know, and I don't know if I even want to go. I don't even know if I want to stay. I'm just, uh, you know, it's messing with me on the road, and. You know, the other guys are, you know, kind of giving me some and, You know, I'm just, you know, I, I don't know, I'm at that point where I just, I just don't know what to do right now. Sometime later, suspect Brickley and her companion say their goodbyes with a jocular hug. As the suspect closes the door, her guest leaves and the night surveillance ends. I can't forgive her this time if I found out she's cheating. I just can't do it. You know, what's that, what's that gonna say about me? I've already given her one, two, three chances with the drinking and the, the cheating before. I can't tolerate the cheating. The drinking, we can get through. We can get through that. But the cheating, I can't do it. You know, I've got too much going on. I can't be worried about that. That's, that's something that's, that, that it's just, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna work for me ever again. You know, to walk all over me like that again, to make me feel foolish again, uh, I just don't have time for it. Cheaters maintains the stakeout on Tony's and the suspect's home. After a long day of surveillance, Cheaters scrutators spot the sedan from previous surveillance. The woman, identified only as Eden, stalks to the door where suspect Brickley greets her. The suspicious pair slips inside. Interior footage from cameras placed by Tony shows the antics within the home. Eden produces a bottle of wine. Suspect Brickley produces a colorful bottle opener. The pair shares a few glasses of wine. Sometime later, the pair of intoxicated women climb the stairs to the pool room. The two overtly flirt as they bang the balls around the table. Brickley eventually makes her move and kisses Eden. The pair makes out on the pool table. Sometime later, Eden rushes out of the house, gets in her car, and departs. Cheater stays on top of the home Tony lives in with the suspect. Sometime this night, 
the familiar vehicle of Eden appears. And like in previous days' surveillance, the suspect's consort appears as well. With her guest gaining entry to the home, the hidden cameras show Mrs. Brickley move to get a glass of wine for her lady friend. They sit and converse on the sofa. Again, the suspect makes the first move and kisses Eden. The suspected adulteress pushes the envelope beyond just kissing when she removes her top. Soon after, the kissing resumes and the suspect's bra joins the shirt on the floor. Sometime later, the accused housewife escorts her companion to the staircase. Brickley lays the young woman on the stairs. The suspect proceeds to perform very intimate conduct on her female consort. Sometime later, the suspect and Eden finish off with a kiss. Brickley retrieves her discarded clothing, says goodbye to her friend with an intimate kiss, and puts an end to the night of surveillance. Cheaters puts out a call to a horned and scorned Tony. Coming up, the confrontation. Tony's most dreaded fears prove veridical. Cheaters contacts him to schedule an appointment to present their evidence. Fearful of the findings, Tony mans up like a rock star to face the music. Tony, uh, you obviously know why you're here. Yeah, yeah, I know. And um, when you first called us, did those feelings come back up again? Yeah, they did, yeah. I've been suspicious for a while. Okay. I really want to stop your frustration and, uh, you know, the anxiety of really just the not knowing what's going on. So yeah. with that being said, are you prepared to see our surveillance? Yeah, yes. All right. Let's do it. Tony, we begin our investigation outside of your home. Sometime later, we see this vehicle pull up. Never seen that car before? Mm -mm. Okay, then we see a woman get out of the vehicle. She walks to the front door, and that's when we see them exchange a hug, and she walks inside. You do recall the surveillance cameras you installed in your home? Mm-hmm. So internal surveillance shows the two of them sitting in your living room. They grab a bottle of wine. They sit on your couch in your living room. And that's when we see the two of them grab the bottle and the glasses, and they walk upstairs. Your second camera you installed in your game room. Right. We see them playing some billiards, and that's when something strange happens. Did you whoa, see that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. You know, I can't even, I'm so pissed right now, man. She even lied to me about this. She actually receives a phone call during this time, Tony. Tell me if you remember this conversation you had with Lilith. Hey, baby. Hey, what's up, babe? Hey, what's going on? Ah, uh, I'm on my way to practice. Oh, uh, okay. A short one tonight, yeah. Okay, all right, cool. What you, what's going on? Where are you out of breath? Do you remember that conversation? Yeah, I remember it. Yeah, it was just the other day. It was just the other day? Yeah. After finishing up that phone call with you, we see that female run downstairs, run out the front door, she gets into her car, okay. and quickly leaves. <sighs> wow. Mm -hmm. One more thing I want to show you, and then we're going to get... more? There's just one last thing, man. Really? All right. Okay. Tony, on this day of our investigation, we're outside of your residence. We see that same female dressed in rather revealing clothing. She's greeted by Lilith at the door with a hug. That's when we get our internal surveillance. They kiss. Oh. And that's when oh my they God. What? embrace. This girl helps Lilith take her shirt oh. off. Oh my God. They man. exchange some more kisses. Lilith flips her hair back. Lilith takes off her bra, walks this girl over to the stairs, throws her on the stairs. Oh. Oh. And oh. then. Oh goes down for the kill in between oh. your legs. Oh. This is, like, this is the worst thing. This is the worst thing I could even imagine. Trust me, man, I completely understand I that. Go. I, I completely go. understand yeah. that. Are you ready? Yep. All right, let's go. This is just so out of left field. This is just so out of character. I mean, the drinking, I suspected she might have been seeing somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I just, I never even saw this coming. 
You recognize this neighborhood, don't you? Yeah. That's your house right there? Yep. Let's pull on up. All right, let's cut the lights once we get in the driveway. Beautiful. All right, let's get out quietly. You know your house? Yeah. We'll follow you. All right, everybody out, everybody out. Be quiet, though. Be real, real quiet. Everything you did, everything. I know you've been drinking. I know you've been drinking again. What are you talking about? I know about? everything that happened with that girl. Who is she? Who is that? Who is she? Her name is Eden. Eden. How come you never told me about her? Why would I tell you about her? Well, why wouldn't you? How long has this been going on? A year. A year? Is there a, a reason why she didn't want to tell him? She was bored. She was lonely. He's on the road all the time. I'm, so, I'm not supposed to act like this when you're with some on top of some chick on my pool table. Yeah, well, right? that's cool. Where were you? That's cool. You right? haven't been home. That ain't cool with me. You, you haven't know been home ever. You're never home. That's not fair. Well, that is not fair. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go get famous or something while I'm sitting at home no, by myself? You're the myself. one that's famous. You're the one that's famous right now. I so saw what, what you did. Doing? I saw everything on the stairwell. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you, you don't, you, you don't know the stairwell? Show, show her the stairwell scene. Okay. She, 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 I told you she was going to deny it. Uh, Lilith, uh, I'm Clark Gable with the show Cheaters. The reason why we're here is because your husband hired us to look after you because I understand uh, you've cheated on before, correct? Why are you still That was here? a long time ago. I that was a long time you. ago. Listen, I completely agree with that. That was a long time ago, and he forgave you. Now, he said that you made a promise to him and a commitment that you would not do this again. So why are we here? And well, I thought he would be here for me, but he's never here. He's no, never here. I'm by you myself know the all deal. the time. You know the deal. Hey, you can go on the road with me. I told you that. He you can go me. on the road every time you want to, but you don't want to. Lilith, hey, I get it. He told me that he's a musician and it's extremely hard to date one, but I mean... Uh, How do I know you won't be doing the same thing on the road? Hey, I got opportunities, but I don't take advantage of them. Lilith. So we think. Uh, have you been drinking? Well, yeah, a little bit. It's right there. Is it, is it a little bit or? Cause you're, just a little. You're just, just a little. You're slurring your words. Just a little. The only reason why I'm asking is because I've heard that drinking's been a factor in the past. <laughs> Leave me alone. What are you doing? You told me you weren't drinking. Well, I wasn't for a while. Yeah, I know, for a while, but. Coming up, the conclusion. Good God. It's all everything you did. Everything. You told me you weren't drinking. Well, I wasn't for a while. Yeah, I know. Do you think the drinking had to do with after you started seeing this woman? Did you? Did it maybe stress you out that you didn't tell your husband? I'm not she, here to really. Show, show, show the stairwell. To, listen, show I'm not, the stairwell. She, she's I'm lying not here about to it. disrespect you. You know, I remember you, the stairwell. Lying, you, yeah, you better remember because you're fixing to see it. I saw it. Well, at least it was memorable, baby. So that was memorable. Yeah. So you would compare this you don't think it's yeah, you real. don't remember that yeah i remember that you, so, just a minute ago you told me you didn't remember it yeah well you, you guys it? busted into my house with a bunch of lights and a bunch of cameras we so yeah we busted into his house and my your house. house who is this other woman he's never seen her in her life no he hasn't and met you her. guys and she said this has been going on for a year for a year yeah i met a her year? at the spa a year i met her at the spa she was a client yeah this is bull hey do you want total bull glass of water I can go go have someone get you a glass of water and you, you two continue to talk I'm gonna go talk to this other female right on whatever her story but sure will, will you please talk to him she's telling I'll, the I'll truth right, right now I'll be right back okay what else do you want to know the truth well, I want to you know why didn't you tell me why what happened tell me you were having these why? feelings or these thoughts for this other woman or, or, or anybody else that that's really hard to do really hey I apologize for the cameras and I know it's really awkward sitting down yes, here um, so you've been doing this for a year. Yes, sir. I'm not sure if you knew this, but uh, they have been together for 15 years. Yes. 
I just was drawn to her, and I thought she was amazing, and I did find out she had a husband, but I just didn't care. I even called you, and you're on the, you're on the uh, pool table grabbing her ass, and I'm on the phone with you. It's, it's bull man. This is bull Willis. When you say you didn't care, is that with the intention of, like, screw that guy, or the intention of, like, I'm just obsessed with this girl? I think a little bit of both. I was getting obsessed with her a little bit, and then before that, I just wanted to get to know her, and... I think it just came down to falling in love with her, and I just didn't care about our marriage. Reached a time in my life when I want to make myself happy. Well, you should have done. You, you should have told me a year ago. I should have never given you a chance I'm, 12 years ago when this happened. I should have never let my guard down, and I did. I let my guard down, and this is what you do to me. Does she drink before you guys start to do your? She was actually sober. She was sober. She was sober when you guys met. Yes. This is what. This is how you treat me, like this. Can we go downstairs? Can we? Just get out of here. Sure. Just get out of here. Unfreaking believable. Now all these people know. You went and told them. You do know she obviously has a drinking problem. I didn't know until I bought a bottle of wine over. We used to talk, and we used to talk about everything. We used to talk through this. I trusted you. What do you want to do about it? Now what? We're here. There are people, cameras. You tell me what you want to do about it. You want to be happy. I do you want to be happy. happy. If, if you if you wouldn't mind, would you step over yeah, here and hear what she's saying? Because sure. if we can get all the truth out right now, and if you can vouch for anything, that would be great. There's no intimacy here. There's, there's no intimacy. There's no intimacy here. Because I just got a completely different story from her. Oh, you know, I want to know who you are. Where did you come from? Um. Huh? I just I met don't, her. Don't 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 even don't even bother. Why are you even still don't here? Don't even get into Why her Why are you face? even still here? Shut up, Lilith. I'm really nervous. I don't know. So this what to is do. my house. You shut the Our house. Right I believe said. Right now it's my house. Really? So Why are you even still here? I don't know what to do. Then don't leave. Don't. You need to go right now. We're no. Still. Okay. I'm calling. Don't. I'm calling the cops. Unless she's leaving. Are you leaving? Yeah. yeah. Let's just go. Let's just forget about it. So what are you going to do? You're actually going to leave your home right now? She and I know what we want. It doesn't have anything to do with you or you. I think your mistress yeah. is waiting for you. Yeah. Yeah, I have a good she night. She have a wonderful night, Lilith. I will. Thanks a lot. I will. Thanks a lot. Are you okay? Yeah, babe. God, what the hell? For real. I think you should make yourself happy. You got one life. One. Really? Well, I hope that hot box tuna was worth it. It was. It was. I wish you the best of luck. Stop drinking. Tony. Andrew is resolute as to the future of his relationship. Later, we'll reveal his decision. But now, Tiffany Bray is a woman surprised by her boyfriend's jealousy. Like, they paid more, you know, so why not make the career change? But I did understand where he was coming from. Like, when I am home, instead of him saying, okay, let's catch a movie, let's go hang out, it's, I gotta work late. Go kick it with such and such. I gotta work late. Call Savannah. I gotta work late. Call Vivi. And it's like... I came home to see you. I don't care about that right now. The whole cell phone lock thing, the sitting in his car talking on the phone, like instead of just getting out when you pull up, he'll sit in the car for a minute, be on the phone. And what is it locked for? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, that is your cell phone, that's whatever, but it didn't, it didn't used to be locked. So what is it locked for now? Yeah, I'm kind of frustrated. Like, I'm boiling a little bit because what happens if, if he is fooling with somebody, she getting the same treatment I used to get at the beginning. You know, they don't work like that. And stuff just keeps adding up. Like, to me, two plus two equals four. And for your routine to be going straight ahead and all of a sudden you just going left, right, left, right, you know? Nah, I don't, I don't know. Sure. Tiffany, thank you for being with us this afternoon. I know you came back early from your trip. I know that's part of what you do as a profession. Well, Tiffany, I know you've been very patient. I know this has gone on for a considerable amount of time. Yeah. 
Our detectives do have some information. Would you care to see that? Yeah. Tiffany, as we began our investigation, we had a detective that was outside of place of employment. He leaves work, and our detective followed him until he arrived at an apartment complex. Mm -hmm. Now, goes into one of the hallways, Who is that? knocks on a door, exits mm -hmm. with a young lady. They get into a car that we believe to be hers, go to a car wash, and as they go inside, pay their bill, they wait for the cleaning to be complete, and we observe the two of them sidling up to one another, evidently pleased with the job the attendant has done. There's a high five. They go back to her apartment. He exits and returns home for the evening. On this day, pretty much the same drill. He leaves work, gets in his car, goes back to the same apartment complex, exits with the same young lady. They get in her car, but on this day, they go to an auto parts store, exit with something that appears to be washer fluid, I'm only guessing. He goes ahead and puts some in, and he places the rest in her trunk. They stop at a coffee shop on their way home, drops her off, but goes inside for a short period of time. When they return to the car, she walks him out, and now we see a romantic exchange between the two of them. Based on what you felt and what you saw and what you observed, does this put any of that into perspective? Oh, yeah. The last time you spoke with him, what did the two of you talk about? We were trying to figure out if I was going to come home today or tomorrow. So he doesn't even know that I even booked an early flight or anything. So to him, it's like I'm still looking for a flight to come home. It's getting close to the end of the work day. Mm -hmm. for Why don't we go ahead and load up in the van, okay. and then we'll call the detective, see if there's been any movement, see if he's left work, okay. and he can give us an update. Okay? Okay. Right, why don't you come with me? Yeah, what do you have happening? He left work. They met at a parking lot. And he picked her up there. Okay. All right. They haven't stopped any place yet. We have a detective that's following them right now. Mm -hmm. So as soon as they stop someplace. Okay. Excuse me one second. There's a detective. Yeah. They're at a restaurant just off McKinney. Detective's there with them now. Okay. McKinney, park in the back. There's an alley. Okay, we're on our way. Okay, you want to do this? I'm ready. What's on the right here? All right, guys, we're going to go meet the detective back there. Okay. All right, there he is. Right there in that little alley. They're right around the corner. We're gonna wait on Danny to come get us. Okay. All right, there he is. Hey, hey, hey. Did you bring me a plate too? How you doing, ma'am? Hi. What's your name? Shelly. How you doing, Shelly? Hi. My name is Tiffany. It's nice to meet you. Hi. Uh-huh. What's that? <laughs> what the? <laughs> what Did you order me some food? Oh, baby, listen. Uh, what you, what Tiffany. You? No, baby. Tiffany. No. What, what you, you ain't got to go, baby. No. You, you can sit down. No, I'll talk to you later. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. wait, wait. No, no Shelly, you don't got to leave. No, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Coming up next, the conclusion. Did you bring me a plate too? My name is Tiffany. It's nice to meet you. I'll talk to you later. Hold up, hold up. Wait, wait. No. Mama, just, you just. Got a permit to come here. Just hey, chill out, Mama. Look, look here. This hey, is not. You guys can look wherever you are. You guys need a permit to film in our restaurant, right? Miss, can you help me with some information? Uh, hey, guys, mm -hmm. Baby, you guys can go over there. I'm sorry, sir. 
No, you can stay. But you, no, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, Ma. Look, For what? Look, 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 look Ma, I, what, what you, I, I, that's, I, a home, I, that's a homegirl of mine, that's a homegirl of mine. If that was the case, she wouldn't have left. <sighs> can you guys, like, go back that way? You could have invited me to dinner till I was hungry, but you didn't expect me to be back home. Babe, look, see, you making more out of this than what it is. You making more out of this than what it is. But you know what? You know what? This, this you had this coming. I did. You had this coming. How? You know what? I'm not even gonna do this. Get this cameras out of my face, man. <laughs> you upset? <laughs> Why are you mad? <laughs> I don't have no time, man. Move. I don't have no time for this. <laughs> Where you going? <laughs> Where you going? You don't want to talk about you it? You know what? You want to talk? Yeah. You, you want to be for real about it? Let's talk about it. Let's get first of all these damn cameras out the no. way. First of all, let's do that. Why don't y'all move out the way? Why? I don't need all this. It's everything to the head on in public all along. We've been together for five years, but you want to get the whole crew out here? Uh-huh. Huh? Yeah. Why not? Why not? I don't know where you went. Okay. Doing all this modeling stuff. Uh huh. You traveling. Uh huh. You going everywhere. Uh huh. You ain't taking care of none of my needs. Nothing. Oh, oh, my God. God. It's right in there. Like really, I'm trying to get my hair done, Somewhere. you guys. I'm trying to get my hair done. Can you know, like... Okay. Yeah. No, we're not gonna be too long. I mean, we're just... I didn't. I go to your Facebook. You got pictures of all the Mavericks, and all the Mavericks got their hands on your ass. <laughs> it's. Everybody got their hands on your ass. Mark Cuban got his hands on your ass. <laughs> Are you serious? You don't even let me touch you no more. When are you home to do so, Mr. I Work Late? No, I just met that guy. I didn't know he had a girlfriend. And that's okay. I don't, I don't no. have nothing to do with it. I just really want no, to No, pl please understand. Please understand that this is not your It's not about you. But what's important is that we get the full story so she can know how long he's been lying to her. Just ask him. Just, just okay. ask him. I gave you the opportunity to leave. You should have. I didn't ask for this. It's not happening right now. It's not yes, happening. it is. You got everybody here? Is yeah. there Obama here? Pick a boo. Where's Obama at? <laughs> I don't see Pick him. Pick a Spotlight on you, sweetie. Can you have a conversation and not worry about the cameras with Tiffany? Why does she bring the cameras in the first place is what I'm worried about. I mean, Same reason why you brought Shelly to a restaurant. But can you see why she had to? Because Because you, were, you, you weren't being honest with her. That's why. <laughs> I mean, the answer is... You want to talk about honesty? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about honesty. Let's talk okay. about how she has... She, she goes out till four in the morning, says she's doing a job, comes in. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't get tended to none of my needs. She comes and goes out, went to the R. Kelly concert. I didn't see her again. I don't know what happened. Okay, but if, but if you were unhappy with the relationship and the way it was going, why didn't you end it? Look... Baby, you know, you know I love you. Tiffany, Tiffany, you know no I, baby. You know, you know I love you. That's for the birds. Really? Shelly! I told you what that is. Shelly! Move, 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 move. <laughs> Shelly! <laughs> wow, really? Really? Look, please, please look I didn't know he had a girlfriend. Please let her know. And I respect please that, though, know. because you didn't know. I respect that, so cool it's like not that. that. No, I'm I was like, what, boo? Whoa. You've been cool. talking to me for like two weeks. Whoa. You didn't tell me you had no girlfriend. <laughs> Five I years in the game, you, Shelly. Okay. okay. <laughs> you didn't know? It's okay, Shelly. First of all, I told you you first of all <laughs> no, like I told you sometimes my cousin sleeps on the couch. Wow, I didn't say together. that. Get yourself together, okay? I said sometimes he <laughs> okay. sleeps on the couch. You can go home with her. Uh, oh, no. He good. Okay. Mama, you can actually that's ride with us. That, nah, he that's can catch a cab. No, that's okay. You good. Look, look, if we ain't gonna talk about it, let's me and you talk about it. Is that my yellow cab? <laughs> well, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Can you take a call, please? Thank you. Bye, Shelly. <laughs> Baby, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Me, get, Can you get the dough for me, sweetie? Thank you. Gotcha. Keep moving that camera out of my face, man. I'm trying to talk to my woman. And Move, man. Baby girl, listen to me. Listen to me. Ah, 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 you're too close. <laughs> Fall back. Fall back. L listen, babe. Listen. I saw what I saw. It is what First it is, all, and that's that. Okay, no. you didn't keep it between me and you. You decided to get America involved in what we got. Tell them how. You didn't <laughs>
Oh, for high. real? That's how it is? Yeah. Well, see, I should have known with your ass on Facebook, you like to be in the spotlight. So right now, I ain't Help you, boo. Huh? I'm sorry. Huh? Goodbye. You just got to be seen. You can come and get your things. I'll be gone for the next two days. Just make sure when I get back, it's gone. What is left is going to the trash. So I'm giving you, you two days. Do not throw my out. You got two days. Do not throw my out. I have two days. You're going to regret this. My way. I, mean, I need my mama seeing this. My grandmother, my family. That is so crazy. I just need to get back to my car. Coming up next, Cheaters revisits a previous case. Uh, so Thank <laughs> you. 